So AMD and Oracle yesterday. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, there's, there's different things going on, right? So, so uh, OpenAI and NVIDIA are trying to um, assert their power over the entire space and just grab as much land as possible. If you look at the ecosystem or the web, um, of the of the um, for OpenAI, it's it's yeah. extraordinary. It involves like forty companies or something, a big big company, huge. Mm. But there's other things going on, so, and and AMD um, is a special situation. It's a, it's a, it's it's it just it's exactly what I've kind of hoped for this company, which is that we all know that they took uh, market share from Intel for many many years and chipped away and mm -hmm. rebuilt themselves. But the big question mark is can can they can they compete in the GPU accelerator? It's a very specific thing, chip with NVIDIA because no one else in the world does it. NVIDIA is NVIDIA because they have a complete and utter monopoly on this chip, which, which trains the large language models. It's expensive, it's got very big wide margins, and it's driven NVIDIA's stock price for two years. Can, and, and, and by the way, do you know that Jensen Wan and Lisa Xu, who are the two CEOs of these two companies, are like distant cousins? Yes, incredible, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's hilarious. But both of them are high, high quality, right? Yeah. Um, and they both, you know, Jensen gets more headlines because of, it, because of the stock of NVIDIA. But Lisa is, um, in my view, right, in, 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 she certainly speaks more, more eloquently than him, but they're both very, very good at what they do. And, and AMD's chip is now getting the endorsement of the market.